Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In today's quick video, we're focused on how to create an email opt-in landing page with GrooveFunnels using Groove Pages. Of course, if you don't already have a free GrooveFunnels account and access to your three free sites inside of Groove Pages, check the link in the description, grab your free account, and then follow along. So here we are in GrooveFunnels. We'll go ahead and go into Groove Pages. We're going to be using a demo and test site right here, so we're gonna click Open Editor. But if you wanted to, you could easily go over here and click this red button in the right hand corner, new site and start from scratch. We'll go ahead and use the demo and test site we have set up to save some time to just focus in on the settings of the opt-in landing page, not everything else that's going on on the landing page. So first things first, before we get started with this landing page and configuring this opt-in form that you see right here, what you wanna do is come up here to this hamburger menu in the right hand corner. Select that and go into My Integrations. And once you're inside of Integrations, what you want to do is you want to integrate your email autoresponder. In this case, I'm using Aweber, but you can go over to the right-hand corner here and click Add. And you can see that there are a numerous list of integration types and it's always being updated. So for example, if you were using ActiveCampaign or GetResponse or MailChimp, you'd go ahead and set that up here first. Simply click on this form, it's gonna give you a wizard as an example. It's gonna be looking for an API key for MailChimp. You would just simply get that information from MailChimp and you would enter that API key and update that and the integration will be all set. In this case, we have Aweber already configured. We'll go ahead and exit this and go back to the opt-in landing page. So again, what we've done here, a simple template, seven simple steps, increase conversion rates today, a nice little paragraph, and then a input form field, another input form field, and notice here the download button is a form submit button. Focus here on where I'm gonna be clicking and we're gonna be taking a close look at the breadcrumbs. I'm clicking here between the your email and download ebook in that red space. Now take a look at the breadcrumbs, body, block, container, container, form container. Look at this green outline around this form container. This form container element over here inside the configuration pane, you're going to see the design. We wanna click on configure. And here is where you set up your integration. The integration is with Aweber. Of course, these are just drop down menus. The only integration I have configured as we saw earlier is Aweber. The email list out of the list of lists that I have over in my Aweber account is fixing to get some emails. Thank you, redirect link is a URL. Of course, this could be none, a page, a block, uh, a pop-up. We're gonna go ahead with the URL and then after someone enters their name and their email and clicks on the green button to download the book, they're going to be redirected, in this case, to 30minutemarketing.net. Of course, you would just click update after you filled in all those fields. You would hit save and then under publish, you'd go ahead and host that site with groovepages.com or publish on your own domain, click publish. In this case, we have this published already, and we're going to publish that to groovepages.com demo site. But before we go look at the demo site and actually demo this opt-in landing page that's connected to Aweber and see it in action, I wanna make sure that you get these fields set up correctly. So here in the your name input field, again, pay attention to the breadcrumbs, body, block, container, container, form, container, container, input, your name, go over here to the configuration pane, the input container block, under configure, you wanna make sure in this case, when you're connected to Aweber, using this type of form, you want an input ID of name, an input name of name. These are the parameters that Aweber is going to be looking for inside input ID and input name. And your input placeholder, of course, is whatever you would like. So your name here, as an example, here you can add validation rules or no validation rules. In this case, the input type, we're just gonna say it has to be text and the input cannot be empty. And we're gonna update that. And you're gonna see here in the input container box, it updated that to your name here versus your name. Then for the email input box, again, check the breadcrumbs, body, block, container, container, form, container, container, input, your email under the configure section inside of the configuration pane of the input block, Input ID here is email, input name is email. Placeholder is whatever you like. In this case, we went with your email. Again, we added a validation rule. In this case, we wanna say 
it has to be an email address in the email format. So for example, gmail.com, an input cannot be empty. We'd go ahead and we'd update. We would hit save and or publish. You can see here content saved. Changes usually go live within a few minutes, but may take longer. At that point, then if you don't remember what the URL is, you can go back up here to publish. You can click that drop down right there. It will give you the publish settings. You can simply just right click on this, open that link in a new tab. When you do that, it's going to open up your site that's going to be hosted on groovepages.com in this case. And you're going to see here we have a nice, simple opt-in landing page. Headline, paragraph, enter your name. Going to enter my name. Going to enter my email address. Going to click on download book. You're going to see down here in the left-hand corner, waiting for 30minutemarketing.net. Boom, it was redirected to the page that I want to send them to. And also the email was added to the Aweber autoresponder. So let's take a look at that real quick. So here you can see inside of my Aweber account, inside my active list, you can see here, no subscribers match this search. If I was to go ahead and refresh that, add it today, it's gonna to reload the subscribers. You're gonna see right there, Gary, Baker, Gary, confirmation pending, I have been added to the database. So now I'm inside of my Aweber account, added via API directly from the integration with GroovePages. And it's just that simple to set up an email opt-in landing page with GrooveFunnels and GroovePages. If you didn't catch all that, just rewind this. Make sure you double check those input fields for name and email. Make sure you set up your integration before you get started. Save yourself some frustration. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that timer. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content just like the videos you see on the end screen. Click those, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.